um, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so just to kind of close out the, the game before Christmas <clears throat> with Clemson, you know, I was obviously disappointed in our in that game, got to give Clemson credit. We just, you know, looking back on the tape, and you know, as I, you, you, I watched it many times. Um, it was here in the wee hours of the morning, um, and uh, you know, didn't make even, didn't even get home till the sun was up. So uh, we just, there's a lot of these things that, you know, one, we missed a lot of layups. Two, we missed a lot of free throws. Three, we missed a lot of threes, open threes that went in and out. You know, that man, if you make those, just a different part of the game that all being said there's just other things that were glaring to me that that we just have to clean up and have to be better at and um, now you know is it is it uh, it was just could it have been just the timing of the game I I, I don't know because we had been good I even and again I get it the opponent was not an ACC opponent the previous game and we've had some good stretches you know previously but we just we just didn't perform well we just did not perform well uh, on on that day. That just that that happens. But there's some things that we needed to get better and clean up as we continue because we've got we're guaranteed 20 games remaining is what we're guaranteed because you've got 18 league games plus Florida Tech plus the guaranteed first game of the ACC tournament. So you're guaranteed 20. So there's a lot of things can happen as we all know in basketball. I mean, you know, you can, and we've seen it. You know, things you you look like the, you know, where you struggle a little bit. All of a sudden, boom, you 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 get on a hot streak. And we, our teams have gotten better through the course of time, as everybody knows. So, uh, I will expect that to be the same part for for us as we continue to move forward. Um, so we we had a we've really have worked hard this week. And we always work hard, but we've we've really extra grinded. We've really grinded the guys this week. They've they've. They've been, um, and, and to their credit, they've 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 handled it, accepted it. Um, I mean, we've pushed them, and and um, you know, have done a lot of things. And so I'm proud of our young man. We got a good group of guys. Again, that doesn't guarantee you any wins, but it it gives you your best chance of being when you're prepared to give you a, 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 a give you a chance to win the games. Um, and um, um, and Virginia tomorrow, uh, obviously Virginia is really good. I, I said it, as I mentioned last time, I think to Ken or, and Kelly, you know, when you guys were there at the ACC Media Day, I said Carolina should be preseason number one nationally, but Virginia should be picked one in the ACC poll, and I think Virginia is really, really good. Uh, obviously, they're an older team. They've got a lot of guys back from last year's team. It's basically the same team with additions from the portal and really good high school players. And... Um, they're really, really good, and we'll have to play really, really well. And uh, Tony Bennett's, an, you know, is an outstanding coach and future Hall of Famer. So um, we'll have to be really good. And um, but a great opportunity for us. Life's all about opportunities. We got because Virginia's 13th in the poll, and I don't know what Miami was. Miami top 14. So you got two top 15 teams coming into your home arena back to back. So two great opportunities. Obviously, focus is Virginia, but the point is you got great opportunities um, next Saturday and Wednesday coming up. Uh, just one other thing, uh, Kelly Curl will not. I mean, I was really looking for Curl to be here this week, but uh, he he went home to Canada, and due to the um, the his travel coming back, he. Got he couldn't even get across the border, so he will not be at the game tomorrow. So he's not he won't be on the bench either. He doesn't land back into America into Atlanta until tomorrow evening. Not his fault. He got due to the the storm and the blizzard. His flights because he had to get get a, from where he was traveling to from and trying to go bo both fly from Buffalo and from Canada. Both things got shut down and then the flights got canceled. And obviously when you're doing international, it's not a it's not like just hopping in a, you know, there's a lot to it. So he will not be at the game, nor will he be on the bench. Nothing more than just due to travel issues. He'll be back Saturday. So, and that was out of his control. We tried every which way, shape, and form to get him here. Just unfortunately, just, um, you know, the blizzard, the storm that happened. We've had multiple guys this week uh, in and out due to sickness, um, uh, viral infections, sore throats, just sickness. But, but, for the most part, you know, guys, you know, keep trying to keep them all healthy on that. So, sorry, go ahead, Kelly. Yeah, that's all right. Um, 
obviously teams have been taking a new tactic this year in terms of trying to clog the lane and, and cut and block your cuts and basically kind of dare you guys to shoot threes. Um, how do you how do you counter that? Do you run more set action? Do you change what you're doing a little bit offensively just to, to try to counter it without getting maybe yeah. giving away what your plan is? I'm just curious kind of what the counter Well, I, is. you know, look, first we've, we've got to, Kelly, we've got to be better defensively. Part of the thing on versus Clemson, we just, you know, we didn't get stops. You know, we weren't getting stops. And that was that was one. You know, you look at it, the two things we've done really well were, and Moose had said this, this is a great stat. Tell me if I'm wrong, Moose. But you, in the history of the Ken Palms since 1997 uh, at Georgia Tech, it's the lowest rate of turnover rate. Right? What was that, Moose? What's the exact stat? It's the uh, number of percentage of possessions that end in turnovers. It's the lowest in Georgia Tech history since 1990. Since 1997. Right. So th that that is a real positive on us. So we're talking on offense, I think that can't be discounted, you know. And, and actually, Moose said the second best on that was actually the year we won the ACC championship in 21. So so that, that stat can't be discounted. And then the three-point defense is, we're, we're, you know, again, one of the best in the country at that. Um, the, 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 but but they, they really hurt us in the paint. On Clemson, as did North Carolina, you know, and so, so it's not just before I even get to the offense, Kelly. The defensive end, we've got to be better defensively and getting stops. We got to clean things up defensively. And you guys know I've prided our teams in defense, and we've, and again, yes, we guard, we guard the three, and but we've got to be better in in, in not allowing, almost like, hey, we got to maybe shrink it a little more. Unfortunately, we don't have that James Banks, Ben Lammers, Moses Wright guy who's maybe blocking those shots. So maybe we got to shrink it a little more. And if they do make threes, you know, you know, we don't. I don't want them to. But but if you know, maybe not being so spread out in certain areas, you know, we just got to be better man zone. Whatever we're in, we got to be better. The floor has got to be better shrunk in a sense. And then offensively, Kelly, you're right. You're going to have to make some shots. Teams are not guarding certain guys. That's the deal. And so we've got to. You know, there's only there's there's one we want to be try to be better in transition offense. You know, before deep teams can get set up. But but more than that, there's only so much you can do. If I mean, there's things you're gonna we're gonna make some adjustments, some wrinkles here and there, and all those things. But in the end, you're still gonna have to make some shots. You know, and 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 I really it's a make and miss game, and not to sound elementary, but it is. You know, things matter when you're putting the ball in the basket. However, it gets there, and and uh, it makes a big difference. With the transition offense, is it that the, they're not being run well, or they're missing opportunities to, to push the ball, or, or Mr. Walter? What, I, what have you I think there's, a, I think it's a multi, multi, multi placet of things. You know, um, Ken, um, and it's been stuff that we've really focused a lot on in this week. Um, but to get before all that, like that secondary comparative, we got to get stops, and then got to get stops, got to get the defensive rebound, then we got to have a chance to. To, to get out and run. Um, and that's my point, Ken, is, is we've really guarded the three at a high level. We've not turned the ball over, which is an, two great stats. We're just not, the points in the paint are hurting us. And, and or we're not taking advantage of when we do get stops to maybe go in transition, you know, that, those type of things. So um, we just got to, you know, we just, but we got to be better defensively. Uh, I don't know what our overall, you know, I, I think in Ken Palm, we're probably in a top 100 overall, you know, close to it. Yeah, so we're, we're, and our teams are usually better than that. So we've got to, that's, and a lot of it's points in the paint, as you mentioned, Ken, Kelly. So that's just something that we've got to be better at. Uh, you know, looking at the, the offensive end, I think one of the guys we heard a ton about going into the season was Lance Terry. And yeah. His outside shot's not falling. It seems to be impacting him. His drives seem to be okay going to the rim. And, Getting fouled and, and getting some some circus shots in actually in terms of his offense, but perimeter shooting has not been what you expected. Has that been a major Im impact for you guys? Like, were you expecting a lot more from him offensively going this? Well, I, I think Lance does a lot of things that doesn't always maybe show up on the box score, and he's going to make his fair of shots. I mean, he he's had a couple of roll in and out, and he's not the only guy. Like. Like Debo last game was one for five. You know, I think Miles versus Clemson. I, I don't have it right in front of me, but um, you know, he 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 missed he missed he missed uh, some of those early ones. You know, he made a couple late. So we're we're 
we need Lance to make shots, but he does a lot that doesn't always show up in the box score. However, we we've you know we have we're better shooters than we've shot to this point. I know I keep saying that, and, and you know, I, but but we are, we are. I know we are, and we're and we're not. There's sometimes there's some shots that you know we got to continue to get be- better ones, but for a lot of times we're getting really good looks, and that's where I go back to. We just got to. Got to stand up, step up, and put it in the basket. Do you have it right there? Is that the game thing which, which one do you for Clemson? Was it Miles last game? Miles was uh, three out of seven from three. Yeah, overall. but but and, and Debo was one for five, right? Debo was, yeah. yeah, but my, I think Miles hit a three or one of the, out of those three. You know, were late. So, yeah. yeah. Two out of, one out of five. Yeah. yeah. With the defense, um, it's in, really the scoring the beat. I remember against Clemson. Uh, guys are getting beat off the dribble and yeah. and you know Jay, Javon Javon, Javon yeah over. like is that was that is that I, I, our 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 ability to guard the ball was not good in in first Clemson we and that's my point Ken before we even get the transit the, we've got to be like we were not good defensively versus Clemson I, you got to give credit to Clemson but I was really disappointed in our defense that that is what made me most why I didn't get drive home and pull up into the driveway into the wee hours of the morning and and. I, I I slept in the car, like in the parking lot afterwards. I mean, I mean, I was just disgusted on our defense, you know, and um, and and you know, and thankfully the the GTPD sort circle they let me stay there, you know, in the in the in the parking lot. But um, um, you know, and that that's just because I was, you know, we met as a staff really late, and then I just stayed there and just needed to, you know, what? Why are we not? I was just really disappointed in our in our defense, and that's just. That unacceptable, you know, and that's just unacceptable. Look, you, you want to win every game. You, you know, you guys know me well enough. I want to win every possession. I'm as competitive as as anybody. Um, but one thing that with our teams and in our program and in my 14 years as a head coach has been we're going we're going to get after it defensively. Not again, and we play different defenses. We mix things up. It's not we're not going to be perfect in things. But um, I just we didn't do a good job defensively versus Clemson at all. I was just really disappointed in our defense. That really stuck out to me, and that's one more each, and then we'll wrap. That's 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 why I slept in my car basically in the parking lot, or fell asleep. At least I fell asleep for a little bit in the car. Um, yeah, obviously Virginia has been a team that you guys have have struggled with, and and obviously really well coached, and have been at the top of the league the last. Five. So really, since you've been in the league, they, they're, yeah. Tony Bennett's a future Hall of Famer, and we've had some opportunities. Like I, and I really believe, and I, and I mean that. I mean, I think if Tony's decision will be, does he want to ever leave college to go to the NBA? You know, I don't know if he'll leave another jo- college job, but he'll he'll have opportunities of coaching the NBA. Or he's had opportunities, and he'll continue to have opportunities. And if he stays in college, he's 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 a future Hall of Famer. There's there's that's that's signed, sealed, and delivered. However, we ha- I think since our first year we've been here, we have gotten better each time we've played them. We've you know I mean they're really good. I mean they're really good. They're 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 really good and they're old. I mean Kia Clark's a fifth year senior. Vander Vanderplas is a fifth year senior. Jaden Gardner's a fifth year senior. Um, they're they're old. Reese Beekman I think's a senior. You know a, four, a fourth year senior. They're just an old team that's very well coached. They got good players. They're not going to beat themselves. And and that's part of what I've mentioned about the league, where some guys shouldn't be, you know, should they still be playing in college? My initial thought during the COVID thing was give give the seniors who are going to be seniors the initial everyone gets an initial year, but when they gave it to everybody, which it is what it is, it it allowed a lot of guys to stay that probably you know that wouldn't be here, and that's all across the ACC. And uh, and that could be the same for Javon Franklin. You know, I mean, he got the additional year because of COVID. So, um, but that's that's part of the deal. Unfortunately, uh, when I say unfortunately, that's made it where there's a lot of older guys where you're where you're thinking you're going to be older, but because of that additional year, other teams stay old. Um, but you know, I think we've had some great. Like last year, it was a possession game late. The year before, both games at home. Home and at their spot, we had chances. So I, I, we're, you know, we've had some close games as later. We just haven't been able to get over the hump, and, and we got to try to get over the hump. They're, they're really good. With the defense, what what is to you has been lacking? I think guarding the ball. I just, you know, and, and again, it's not been every game. It's just I, I, the Clemson game stood out for me because we were good in 
the Clemson game really stood out for me. In some other areas, it was a defensive rebounding because, again, we guard the three at a very high clip. You know, one of the best in the country at that. You know, Clemson came in shooting over 40, one of the best three-point shooting teams in America, and they shot 28% from three. The issue is, as you mentioned, the, the points in the paint and guarding the ball. Those are two big issues. And yes, Ken, we've I, not having that shot blocker right behind you has, has affected us. And those are some things that we've got to maybe adjust to, continue to kind of tinker and adjust because, you know, you just were, you know, not having that guy to protect you on some certain things where you can really be spread out and knowing a guy's right back there. And we've had that. Um, but, um, um, the biggest thing is we got to be guarding the ball better, and and we got to be better in the paint. I'm sorry, is that effort or is that? Um, I mean, I, I think you can do it on an accumulation of every. And again, it, it hasn't maybe been it. It hasn't been every game. It's just, it's the Clemson. It's the Clemson game. So I, I you know, the, I've dissected the problem based on the Clemson game, because even in Carolina, there is some things where. We the, we did a good, really good defense. It was just Baycott. Just I mean, just you know, it is what it is. I mean, he just hurt us in the paint. Um, we and, and they didn't. You know, it was more Iowa. Was a lot of it was defensive rebounding, second chance. So the Clemson thing, like it wasn't the offensive rebounds that got. It was the it was the ball. It was the straight line drives and the points in the paint. So I think it's an accumulation of everything. But that hasn't been a whole year problem. It was the Clemson game. It was the Clemson game. So. But to me, when you're talking about that, it's not as much, you know, I felt maybe it's not as much strategy and scheme as it, you know, we didn't have the effort that I've, you know, that, that we demand. And, and it hasn't been, again, it hasn't been like that. It was just a one game thing, but that caused me to sleep in the car and pull up my driveway when the sun was coming up. Sleep in my car at the parking lot and in the, in the, in the deck where by the AA. Yeah, in my Honda Pilot.